I am Ramona and welcome to Ramona Interviews and with me in the chair today is Dominic Marsigliano. Now he is the executive director yes. of the Worcester Eastside CDC and he's going to get us up to date on what's been happening in 2010 and 2011 and also talk to us about the wide range of programs and opportunities that are available through that local CDC. Welcome Dominic. Thank you for having me. Oh, thank you for coming. So tell us about the Worcester Eastside CDC. What does it do? Where is it located? And why, how does it benefit the neighborhood? Well, the Worcester Eastside CDC uh, is um, a private nonprofit organization. CDC stands for Community Development Corporation. Our focus is neighborhood revitalization. Um, within an area that's defined in the city, we have a map that identifies the, the perimeter of our area and uh, in that area we have a we, we have a very strategic plan that is involves holistic uh, a holistic approach to trying to redevelop the, the neighborhood trying to add new vitality to the neighborhood and the the um, plan incorporates a development of affordable housing uh, a variety of uh, programs that include youth uh, uh, after school and summer programs, housing counseling, employment assistance programs, uh, and sponsorship of a, a number of community events uh, throughout the year. Uh, our, our main focus has been uh, the development of affordable housing, and within that we have concentrated on uh, home ownership opportunities. Uh, it's, um, it's been shown that uh, Increased owner occupancy rates within a community is one of the better ways to stabilize a community, make it a safer, um, uh, more appealing community for people to, to live in. So we've done a great deal of home ownership development uh, and have utilized a model for more than a decade now, which is a two-family model. Mm -hmm. And in, in doing so, what we do is we'll develop a building, <coughs> excuse me, that um, has a good size owner's unit, generally a three bedroom, um, one and a half, two bath owner's unit, and a small rental unit. Uh, the, these are made um, available to income eligible uh, first time home buyers um, who buy the entire home. So they have a unit to live in and they have a, a small unit to rent that brings them some rental income. Does this also keep their mortgage lower because the it, rent it, of that unit would be incorporated in what they would be exactly, paying in the mortgage? Exactly. And it gives a, it, it's a, it's a much more stable um, home for them to be in because they have the income that subsidizes uh, their mortgage payments. Mm -hmm. um, it's and also, it, it also, uh, Worcester lends itself to that kind of development because most of the homes that we see in our neighborhood are multifamily homes. What we've done in a number of cases um, has been to take a three-family home and convert it down to a two-family by combining two floors. And so, uh, as I said, many of the homes are three bedrooms, but oftentimes there are, are, um, there's a need for larger units because you have large families. So we've combined uh, two floors to make four or five bedroom units uh, and then still have a, um, an extra rental unit that the, uh, the homeowner can use for income. So you don't always do a new Home. Although we, I've seen the new homes we have, very brightly colored. We do both. We, we try to focus on uh, renovation of existing structures because there are quite a few of those around uh, over the years that have been vacant, abandoned, and troublesome in the neighborhood. But oftentimes it makes, uh, will acquire a vacant lot that just makes sense to have developed into a, a two-family home. Um, many of the vacant lots around the neighborhood have been problem sites throughout the years because of dumping and a variety of other issues that mm -hmm. uh, revolve around having a vacant lot. And so by acquiring it and combining it in a project that we're doing and, and putting a new two-family home on it, it adds to the tax base of the city, it, it adds to the, the character of the neighborhood, and um, it makes it safer in that it's no, it's no longer a vacant area that people go for whatever reasons. What, explain what affordable housing is. Affordable housing is, um, is housing that is targeted to people within a certain income bracket. Um, and uh, it's, a, uh, it's somewhat of a deceptive term because people think, oh, this is for 
those people over there that uh, uh, you know shouldn't be here. One of the things that uh, people don't realize is how high the income guidelines actually are for this area. The the, gu the guidelines are uh, national averages. Um, uh, broken down by uh, states and cities. And um, in Worcester, uh, according to the HUD guidelines and a survey that had been done recently, it was shown that 60% of Worcester's population falls below the guideline to be considered low income and would be eligible for this type of housing. There's a, a new term that's going around now, uh, that's, it's being called workforce housing because most of the workforce is eligible for this type of housing. Starting teachers, starting firemen, police officers who uh, ha have income that make them within the guidelines for eligibility to purchase this type of home. And this is for uh, affordable housing. For so affordable this is not housing. other, you're just talking about HUD in affordable housing. This is not right. other benefits that no. someone might get from other things. Right. This is this just is for this first the, time home buyer. For, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Which is 80, the, the guideline is 80% of median income. The median income in Worcester for a family of four is somewhere in the 70s. So 80% of that is in the mid to high 50s. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, a lot of people in the city are within those guidelines. Guidelines. So it's almost working class. It is. It's exactly it's what it is. That is benefit, exactly what it is. Which is a good thing. It is a good thing. It uh, helps people uh, stay in the city. And stay in the city. Exactly. And, and own a home. And own a home. Yes. And the, the two family model, what I like about the two family model is that it provides that home ownership opportunity, but it also provides an affordable rental. The, these homes are sold with uh, restrictions on the deed that um, keep them affordable for years to come. Uh, so the, uh, the people that can rent these units have to be income eligible as well. So okay. it really provides housing for people that are looking to be homeowners and for people that are looking to be renters. Renters. And they would go by HUD's, and a person who is renting would go by whatever HUD's guideline is for a one bedroom or a two bedroom or exactly. whatever Exactly. It uh, it's a, it's a, for the rental piece, it's a slightly uh, lower income bracket. Uh, the, the home ownership piece, you can earn up to 80% of median income. For the rental piece, you can earn up to 60% of median income to uh, move into one of the units. Um, and, and obviously, you've been doing this for years. You've surveyed homeowners. Do they, do they like being landlords? Um, well, they, uh, it, it <laughs> comes with the, with the home, and one of the things that we offer, uh, we are uh, one of the partners in the NeighborWorks Home Ownership Center, and through the Home Ownership Center, which is located on Main Street, all of the housing counseling, first-time home buyer counseling and foreclosure uh, uh, prevention counseling goes on. In order to purchase one of the homes that's developed uh, in any of the CDCs, you have to ha go through a first-time home buyer class and have a, cer a certificate showing that you've done that. As part of that training, there is a, a piece of it that talks about being a landlord. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing that is important to note is that when we sell a home, we stay with that, the people in that home for years to come for any issues that might come up. We help them find tenants. Uh, if issues arise somewhere down the road, even eight years later, mm -hmm. we'll get a call and we'll assist in whatever way we can to rectify the problem. So that's nice. Yes, it's good. It, well, our focus, again, is, is to uh, revitalize the neighborhood and to stabilize it. And so we want to make sure that the people that are put into these homes, that are buying these homes, are going to succeed for years to come. And the only way to do that is to make sure that you are behind them all the way. Yeah, built That's great. Great work. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm Ramona, and you've been watching Ramona Interviews. Have a wonderful week.